Jack Frost looked at the snow goose, who put her head on one side. Snowdrop muzzled his cheek with soft white feathers. Chumpy was still pulling away from him, but his snow geese were longing to be with him. Very slowly, Jack Frost loosened his long, bony fingers from Chumpy's wiry hair. He took his arms away from Chumpy's neck. The little goat hurried away and Billy fluttered over to him. As soon as she touched him, he shrank to fairy size and bleated happily. No more chicken noises, said Rachel, smiling. He is back to his normal self. Yes, said Billy, and it is all thanks to you, Rachel and Kirsty. You are welcome, said Kirsty. We are just happy that you have Chumpy back. Jack Frost patted that little snowdrop, who sat on his shoulder and walked over to Snowdoose. She lifted her head and he stroked her gently. As Rachel and Kirsty watched, they saw his chin wobble. He sniffed and then a tear rolled down his cheek. I am so glad you love me, he said. The fairy stared at the ice lot as he stammered. He is really not used to saying this word. Jack took a deep breath. I love you too, he said. Rachel and Kirsty shared a smile. It is good to hear Jack Frost talking about happy feelings for a change, said Rachel. It is a truly happy ending, said Kirsty. All except for the mess that Chumpy and Jack Frost made on the farm. How are we going to explain it? You will not have to, said Billy, tucking Chumpy under her arm. Follow me. They all fluttered over Greenfield's farm and Billy waved her wand. Fairy dust was sprinkled across the farm. When it landed, the broken signs were instantly mended and the torn banners were repaired in a flash. The hay bales rolled back into position, and all the stray bits of straws were cleared up. Are you going to take Chumpy back to Fairyland now? Rachel asked. Yes, said Billy. Chumpy and the rest of the magical baby animals are best looked after by Farmer Francis and at the fluttering Fairyland farm. It is such a lovely place, said Trusty. I hope we can see it again someday. How about today? asked Billy with a smile. Would you like to come for another visit right now? Yes, yes please, Rachel and Trusty said together. The three fairies flew down to where Jack Frost was still cuddling his snow geese. You should come to Fluttering Fairyland Farm too, Billy said to Jack Frost. I want to show you what a farm is like when the animals wants to be there. Jack Frost nodded and Billy raised her wand. A sparkling flash of fairy dust whooshed around the little group, surrounding them with bands of lights. They were dazzled by it, and when the light faded, they blinked and gazed around in wonder. They were once more standing in the large green grass of fluttering fairyland farm. Farmer Francis was in front of them, and he smiled when he saw Jack Frost cuddling the snow geese. I see that Billy, Rachel, and Trusty have shown you that the pets you already have are special, said Francis. Jack Frost had a real smile on his face. And everyone could see that for once he was feeling happy, truly happy. Your animals are nice, Jack Frost said to Billy, but my snow geese are the best. That's exactly how you should feel about your own pets, said Billy. And I am glad you like ours too, but please do not take them away from us again. You can visit the animals at the farm whenever you want, said Farmer Fram Francis. I would like that, said Jack Frost. But right now I'm going to take my snow goose and snowdrop back to the ice castle. The snow goose snuggled into him, 
and he stroked her feathers. He darted a suspicious look around for a mo moment and then lowered his voice. I'm sorry that I was not kind enough to you both, he whispered. I want to make it up to you with lots of love and cuddles. The snowdies honked happily and Jack Frost looked around again. Why is he looking so worried? asked Trusty. I think he's chatting there are no goblins around, said Rachel laughing. He would not want them to hear him being nice. Farmer Francis turned to her and smiled. You and Trusty are always welcome visitors too, he said. There are four animals here who will always be grateful to you. He stepped aside and the girls saw the other three baby farm animals, animal fairies, together with their magical baby animals. The fairies flew over to help Rachel and Trusty, and the animals gathered in too, all happily back to their normal cells. Thank you again for everything, said Billy. We would not be here without you. Rachel and Trusty gave each of the magical animals a cuddle. Then, as the fairies waved goodbye, Billy raised her wand. In a blink, the girls found themselves standing beside the dog pen. They were back on Greenfield's farm.